Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And um, of course, there's a lot of talk about TPM and um, the processor that uh, support this type of uh, security. And um, a lot of people are asking, well, you know, why does Microsoft require this? And well, I'm sure this will change in a, a documentation that Microsoft has issued today. Uh, one of the things that they mentioned is that TPM is a must-have for the PCs that will want to run Windows. Um, and the reason why is because they are going to rely on that TPM or the um, security chip uh, for all sorts of login uh, on Windows 11, including the Windows Hello feature. So in Windows 11, like in Windows 10, there's something called Windows Hello. Windows Hello is a way to actually securely log into your computer. And one of the things about Windows Hello is the fact that you will, you know, it's, it's a passwordless way of going to your computer. But to have security here, you need to have trusted platforms. And what's happening with the TPM chip is that this is the trusted platform Microsoft is basing its security on in Windows 11. So for them to go back on Windows 11 with TPM2 is probably not an option as they are really fully requiring that all the security features will run with this. Uh, people, you know, I've, I've asked, had many questions like, well, I've got, you know, when, uh, when uh, antivirus, so I don't understand why I need these security things like TPM. It's a totally different thing. Antivirus, first of all, and you always have to remember that, is rather useless in general. Uh, people that thinks that think that the antivirus they use is protecting them, that's not security, and you don't know what security is exactly. Uh, there's a lot more to security than that, and one of them is um, relying much more on you know having up to date systems. TPM is a way to uh, keep encrypted keys, but in a way that it's not possible to tamper with them. That means if your system gets compromised. You can compare that key that it's being used, for example, to log into your system with one that is to be trusted. And which one is trusted? Well, TPM or its variants that are in uh, processors like the Intel PTT and the, uh, of course, AMD F TPM. Uh, those cannot be changed. So basically what happens is if there's a doubt or if there's something that you might need to compare, you'll compare the key to the encrypted key within that chip. That means if they don't match, something happened to your system, it was tampered with. And of course, login will not happen. So Microsoft is really um, using security as it's really um, as, as the reason for TPM. And the more um, I read about how Windows 11 will handle security in different ways, the more you see that TPM will be unavoidable. TPM 2.0 will be the future. And you might not like it, um, but I personally think it is important if you want to keep a system safe. And uh, once again, you know, people are, um, are, are, there's a big reaction with Windows 11 right now. Uh, just remember that, you know, your computer will run Windows 10 until 2025. And what a lot of people don't understand, because the immediate reaction is, oh, well, you know, all these computers in the landfill, they'll still be in the landfill in 2025, because a lot of these computers that are five, six, seven years old will be more than 10 years old in that time period. They will already be pretty much useless for a lot of people, because they will not have the technologies that you'll have in 2025. Um, thinking about, well, you know, I don't have money for a computer. Yeah, we're in 2021. You know, you got four and a half years. So we'll see back in 2025. You know, that's a different game. And someday you will have to replace a PC. So it's not like they're forcing you to buy new hardware. They're just telling you this is the new requirement, but has new hardware, you know, gets available and will have Windows 11. People that don't have the requirements will continue to run Windows 10. 
your computer still works. And it's just that, you know, you'll have Windows 11 at some point. Um, you know, there's, I, I rant about ha lack of communications of Microsoft. I rant at some of the choices, especially on the CPU side, uh, where some very low end CPUs are actually in a list that are approved when I end um, older CPUs that actually are more powerful or not. That's kind of weird. But as for the TPM 2.0 thing, um, I think Microsoft should not back off because it is included in every processor today and you just need to activate it. The only thing that happens on some computers is that the BIOS is not actually does not have that on off switch and that I've seen a few times some um, you know BIOSes well actually you have a chip that does have TPM in it but there's no on off switch anywhere in the instructions and in, in, in the settings which is kind of stupid when you think about it that a feature is there and you don't have an on off switch in the motherboards BIOS or UF, UEFI BIOS but the focus on security is real on Windows 11, and that's why TPM is also going to be... Uh, I'm pretty sure they're not going to back off on that one with all that they want to do. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.